Hello, I'm James Fair and I work within the specialist charities team at Harbinson Mulholland. As well as working with local businesses, we work with an increasing number of charities and not-for-profit enterprises, so it's become ever more important that we continue to understand this vital sector and the key issues and challenges faced by those within it. We recently hosted a roundtable discussion with a number of representatives from within the charity sector and thought it may be useful to share the most prevalent themes which were explored and debated over the course of lunch. We were joined by guests from both local and national charities as well as those working within the areas of charity law, management consultancy and finance to gauge as many different views as possible. The conversation was lively and diverse with several themes emerging which were difficulties with accessing funding, governance and regulation, innovation and entrepreneurship, long-term strategy and growth opportunities, marketing and PR, and the potential for collaboration within the sector. Of course, funding or the lack of it became the first issue discussed around the table. Both commercial and grant funding constraints were found to be one of the biggest concerns, although it was felt that in general that these restrictions have led to many enterprises having to move away from grant dependency and finding more innovative ways to generate revenue. In many cases this has meant moving towards a new attitude of entrepreneurship which although still challenging can bring benefits overall for the sector. There are many organisations that are truly utilising the capacity to grow and the conversation naturally moved to strategic planning. We discussed how increasing numbers of enterprises are engaging with this and working closely with professional advisors to reaffirm their vision and their values and plan their future direction, especially in the light of changing regulatory landscape. Governance was also a key theme with everyone agreeing that all organisations within the sector should have a focus on becoming champions of good governance overall. The work of the Charity Commission was eagerly debated, in particular a recent report detailing the top 100 concerns raised by the public, which led to a fascinating discussion. Another key question related to marketing within the sector. Just how much should a charity or not-for-profit enterprise spend before they can expect to see a return on their investment? The differing perspectives around the table made this very interesting. And we finished by considering the opportunities for collaboration within the sector and how charities can help each other out, an uplifting and inspiring end to our session. The feedback from guests was very favourable, with everyone enjoying the chance to network with others in their sector as well as professional advisors, so much so that we've been encouraged to make our roundtable discussions a regular event. If your charity or social enterprise would like to be part of our future discussions, please get in touch as we would welcome perspectives from as many organisations as possible. My contact details will appear shortly on the screen and I look forward to hearing from you.